Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host of Software Engineering Geek, and on this show we're going to show you how to install Git on Windows. So sit back and relax, and let the knowledge flow in, His SE Geek begins now. Okay, we're going to show you how to install um, Git on Windows in this uh, episode. So, in the Windows in the Windows world, uh, you have two options for installing Git: uh, msys Git and Segwit. So, we're going to talk about each one, pros and cons of each, and then basically take, walk you through installing uh, msys Git. So. MSYSGET is probably the better alternative for Windows. Um, its stability compared to Segwin sometimes can be in question, uh, although actually in uh, versions recently it seems to be have become a lot better than what I've experienced initially. This is totally uh, and completely uh, driven by volunteers, so you know if you want something fixed, uh, you know, the motto is uh, figure out how to fix it or, you know, really plead with someone on the forums to get it fixed for you, but don't expect it right away. So, you know, volunteer base, but it is, you know, at this point, very stable um, and pretty much your best option for working on Windows. The reason why it's a little different on Windows is Windows isn't what's, uh, I believe it's pronounced post six uh, based. It's, you know, it has... DOS under it rather than Linux. And so with each version of Git on Windows, you kind of get a uh, Linux-based like uh, command line in order to you know actually run your Git commands. Um, so msys Git's probably your best bet. Um, it always says, you know, preview version. You know, they're very... Uh, you know, into saying, you know, this is a beta version, it's preview version, they've never come out with a, you know, this is the stable version or the release version, they always call it a preview version, uh, but that's just the way it is. Segwin, on the other hand, is actually kind of like a, a full entire Linux command line for Windows. Uh, it allows you to run all kinds of Linux commands uh, on Windows, which is really nice and really great. The one drawback of Segwin for uh, Git in particular, though, is Git on Segwin, from what I've seen, has been particularly slow, especially when you compare it to Linux. It is it ridiculously slow compare in comparison. Um, msys Git is quite a bit faster. You know, if you're if you come from you know the land of Linux. You'll notice it's it is a bit slower, but it is what it is. You know that those are your two options uh, in Windows. Um, but Segwin, you know, apart from that, is a very great uh, just open source project that allows you to do um, you know basic Linux commands on Windows. Um, you know, and gives you a very nice command line. But for this, we're going to be going with msysget. So. I've already downloaded, whoops, actually have to get in here. I've already downloaded uh, msys get right here. And so we're just going to double click and go through the installation because there are a few options with this particular one. It's yes, it's Windows. Okay, so next, next, yes. So Here's a, a couple options. Uh, I would say bash here, get GUI. Yeah, you know, give these are just context menus that you know give give you the ability to pull up a uh, get bash window at a particular place. Bash is like a Linux terminal. If you you know if you're from Windows and don't know what that is, um, and we'll go with that. This does some associations, quick launch. Yeah, all well, that's pretty much good. And we'll just go with that. Now, here's something where you might want to make a particular choice. Um, where you can say install git bash, which is like the Linux kind of command prompt. 
uh, which is the default, which I would usually go with. Um, you can run it from the win- Windows command prompt. So you can actually run get commands from the Windows command prompt. I wouldn't really recommend this because you don't really get you know, kind of the full experience of get as much. I don't think I haven't actually tested that, but, you know, you'll have to look into that. Or you can do both. Uh, there are, uh, you know, it has warning, red warning, implications, you know, overlaps and stuff like that. I would say, you know, using Git Bash is probably your best bet. Uh, you know, if you're using Segwin with this, because uh, you can have both of them on the same time, although that can get into conflicts, uh, I would say you probably have to go with the Git Bash only option. So, but we're going to go with that. So, here's something else that, you know, since Git comes from the Linux world, uh, you know, there's uh, it, it deals with the different line endings. Like in Linux, you have uh, for each line f- ending, it's a line feed. And in Windows, it's a uh, carriage return and a line feed for uh, line feed for a end line character. Which you know, you don't actually ever see those, but Git knows about these, and you know, it will. You know, there's there's different. It gives you different options. You can change these later. Um, Check out style Windows and commit style Linux is not a bad way to go. Uh, there's also check out as Linux and style line endings, which means it'll just change it to Linux style. Or you can do just as is. It'll come out the way it is and go back in the way it is, which I kind of prefer that. Um, we'll go with that for now. Uh, but, you know, this is something you should think about, you know, depending on uh who's working on what environments like if you're all on you know windows then you know uh doing like the first one or the last one is probably a good way to go if you're not all on windows if you have some linux people the first one might be a good option but let's just go for as is for now and that'll go off and install itself and that's pretty much all you need to do to install it and I'll just show you kind of like the difference in uh, bringing it up once it finishes here it won't take that long yes waiting is the best part of installing any Windows software well any software in general but alright here we go yes that last little bit takes the longest all right, we don't care about reading release notes. Finish. And if we close out here, minimize. So now we have get bash. So if you open this up, it looks kind of like, you know, your basic bash window. And here's something else. Uh, if you're in Windows, uh, I always have to mess with this. Uh, go to the defaults and enable quick edit mode um, and I bump this up to the maximum and you'll have to actually mess with this to get uh, oh actually I didn't want to mess with the fonts but you know the actual bigger size and stuff like that but you know that's something you can mess with yourself um, and pretty much you know you have the get prompt right there ready to use and that's pretty much all you have to do to install it in windows so um next time i will believe uh we're going to be talking about uh setting up get which uh you know it's fairly easy and we'll go from there